Hey everybody, Wally Renee here from the Mod Institute. We're going to go over this quick uh, guide on how to add a single irrigation tube to a simple surgical guide. So download the case from the modinstitute.com. This is the simple case. And follow along with me. I'm going to try to go extremely slow, but it sometimes is hard for me to slow it down that much. So pause the video and rewind if you need to. I'm going to add some call outs to this video to help slow it down as well. The first thing is when you open up Mesh Mixer, which is a free software from Autodesk, um, you have to kind of cater it to your liking. And to do that, um, hold space bar on the keyboard and you could change the color of the background. I like white, but click this square right here and you could change it to whatever you want. Say you want black or whatever color and hit OK. OK, that's number one. Number two is when you hold space bar, make sure free is highlighted. It's highlighted. You'll know it's highlighted if it's gray, a darker gray. So not snap, but free. That lets you rotate the model freely. The other thing that we need to do is go through the controls. So right click rotates, just like on most CAD softwares, the rolly ball zooms in and out. And if you click and hold the rolly ball, it translates the model. Okay. If you left click, it does nothing except you could come over here and change files. So on your objects browser, so you can see we have a file here. If you don't see the object browser, you need to go to view show objects browser. Um, the little eyes here will click things on and off. You know it's selected if it's the brighter color versus the darker color. Okay, so here we have two objects. We have the port and the guide. Like that. Okay. Lastly, go to the view and make sure you don't have your printer bed showing or your grid or any other distracting objects. Um, so you're going to go to view and toggle those off by clicking the check mark. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so let's add a tube to this surgical guide. Um, the whole process is a three to five minute process without a tutorial. For you guys, it's going to be probably a 10, 15 minute arduous, frustrating task. Just bear with me and hopefully the tools that I'm teaching you and the and the techniques will enable you to be creative and think of better ways to do this. And there are easier ways. You could just simply add a straight tube. <laughs> There's a lot easier ways than what I'm going to show you, but what I'm showing you works for any surgical guide, including all on X, um, multiple sleeve housings um, versus just one simple uh, guide. Okay, so the first thing is we need to create a tube. So we're going to go to Edit, Add Tube. And when you when you go to Edit, Add Tube, you have a tube type, which is inside line, inside, outside. So if you hit line, it does this weird thing because it starts this point over here. Um, and it basically is a difficult thing to then translate everything over. If you go to line inside, it tries to put on the inside of the guide. Spline outside is this kind of caterpillar that you click you click these two spots and you could drag a rainbow basically anywhere along the guide. So if maybe you want it to come out lingually, we could do that or buckly, it depends on the location, the patient's tongue, and whatever you think is best, and what will not interfere with your osteotomy site preparation. So don't forget, we got to be getting the handpiece here. So we want to make sure that we're not messing up that. So for me, I think I'm going to try to put it here on the lingual. And so I'm picking, once again, I'm picking this um, spline outside and I'm clicking these red balls. And it's important to note that depending on the surface that you're looking at when you click the ball, it kind of will try to manipulate to that surface and it might flip over on you. So be careful. I like to always kind of look at it from the outside like this. Now, we want it coming out below our sleeve housing. So you see. You got to kind of really click right on that red ball. So that's a good spot for it to come out. But the issue that I have right here is it it's a little tall. And the way that you change the arc of this 
curve is this tangent line. Okay, you can make it really, really tall, like a rainbow, or come down. I'm going to come down just a little bit like that and hit X. That's a good, so that's a good spot. We have a start point, which doesn't matter where it starts. It could start back here, but the end point here is right apical to this surgical guide, just like that, to the sleeve housing on the guide. So now we have the combined mode. We could do Boolean append or new object. Um, I like to do new object, okay? Radius, 2.5 millimeters. So type in 2.5 in this, not 0.5, but 2.5 and hit accept. Okay. So now what that did is we have, we have basically a tube, nothing fancy about it. Okay. And what we could do from here is we could go ahead and make pretty much anything. So it's a separate object. So here's our tube all by itself right here. Okay, just a simple little tube. It's not hollow though. That's one of the problems. And it interferes with our guide seating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll highlight the tube by clicking on it. So the tube and hit T for transform. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move it ever so slightly. It's easier to move after it's been kind of manufactured. Trust me. And I'm going to go ahead and get it right where I want it, where it's not going to interfere with anything. Maybe something kind of like that. Nope. How about like that? I change the angle. I'm not worried about this penetrating through. I'm more worried about this one right here. I want that one to be nice. Okay. Hit accept when you have it kind of positioned where you want it. And then what we're going to do, let's turn off the guide. So the purple one is the one um, that we want to open. So I'm going to select, click that purple, Oop. make your select tool tiny, maybe like a 15, and double click that purple. It might be a different color on yours, but once again, it's the one that's the hole that you want to put, punch and you're going to hit Y. And what that does is it separates that out as its own little unique mesh. So we have two separate meshes now. Go to your first mesh, so hit the I on the, on the, the one that you just made, and click on your first mesh. It should be hollow now, but it's too thin. The walls are too thin um, to make anything flow through here. So what we need to do is we need to select so control A to select everything. And hit D on the keyboard for extrude. If you didn't want to hit D as in dog, you could go to edit, extrude. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to, instead of constant, we're going to go to normal. And we could either go in the positive direction or the negative direction. I'm gonna go negative one, which leaves me um, a decent sized lumen and adequate thickness to my tube. So there we now we have a, a, a nice tube. And if I put on my surgical guide, we could see kind of already kind of what we're doing here. I just now need to punch a hole right here. Um, and the way that I'm gonna do that is quite simple. I'm going to go to that original little square here. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to hit Control A to select the whole thing.
thing, D for extrude. I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, five millimeters. And then I'm going to hit D again for extrude. And I'm going to go ahead and just put like whatever the max two millimeters and hit accept. And I'm going to hit clear selection. So now I just have my tube right here. T for transform, hit the white circle, square, sorry, and make it small. How small? Well, turn on your original tube, your thick tube, and the little white square. You want it slightly bigger than the lumen of your tube. And once you have it like that, hit enter. Okay, so you can see kind of what we're doing here. So now I've got my guide and I got this thing poking through. So I'm going to select the surgical guide by just selecting it. So whatever you click should be active here. So select the surgical guide, hold shift, select that little tube and hit Boolean difference. And we're going to poke a hole and hit accept. So now I have a hole. We do have a little floater right here. Let me see. Right there. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and smooth that back just a little bit. I'm going to go to sculpt, brushes. Bubble smooth. And hold control or yeah, hold control. I'm just going to smooth that little lumen out a little bit. There we go. So turn back on my guide and there you can see. Now we want to make sure that we're sealed around here. So one way to do that is to turn your guide on as magnetic. The way that you turn it on as magnetic is your guide, you hit the little magnet icon and it turns it turns it this like blue color and then you're going to go to your you're going to click on your um tube and you're going to go to your sculpt brushes attract and you're going to click right around there to press you're basically pressing and you're going to deform it a good bit it's okay but you're pressing that tube right up against the guide. Same thing here. I'll put my size a little bit bigger. I'm pressing the tube right up against the guide. Just like that. And I'm going to hit the magnetic tool off. And you can see what we did there. We combined those two meshes perfectly as a flush surface. Nice. Look down your sleeve. Make sure that from the straight line axis, you're not going to have anything sticking out. That's fine because it's not in the way. So now we have a tube. And now we need to add our port. Let's see. Click your port. Hit treat T for transform. And go ahead and try to get that port. On top of. and touching and pressing into your tube. So mashed in a little bit. Now I like to keep, see this big wide um, bottom band? I like to keep that at its full thickness. So what I mean by that is I don't like to drop this in like this because uh, it's weak, it'll be weak here. So I want to have it sticking. I want to be able to see my full thickness but also have it pressed in. So right there is not really good. So I'm going to come kind of like that. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Once we have it, by the way, if you're moving it and it's jumping too far, hit the up arrow on your keyboard and it will give you um, smaller increments to move it. If you keep hitting the up arrow, um, you'll be able to fine tune that movement. So now I have it the way I would like it. I'm going to hit accept. So I'm going to select my um, tube here, go to my select tool. 
And I'm going to turn this on small, like a 20. I'll look straight down my port. Remember, my tube's selected, not my port. And I'm going to circle some of these triangles. Just around. Okay. And then I'm going to hit B for smooth. Nope, I don't like that. Let me get rid of the port so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, just kind of circle. Make Try to make a decent sized circle. Like that. You're not going to be able to create a perfect circle because of the way the triangles are. But you will if you hit B. Okay, so now I have a decent sized circle. The most important thing is that when you turn your port on, that the orange is not visible on the outside here. Okay, it's not. I'm going to turn my port off. So now I'm going to hit Y, and that made that circle its own little mesh right here. See? Then I'm going to hit uh, Control A, D for extrude. I'm going to type in, I don't know, 10 millimeters. Hit Accept. Then I'm going to hit D again, and I'm going to go down to 2.2, hit accept. So now I have this rod. I have a rod sticking through my tube. Okay. And I have a tube that now has a hole in it. But it's not the hole that I want. It's only a hole in one mesh and it's all messed up. So I'm going to go to I'm going to go to um, analysis, inspector, and seal that hole and then I'm going to take my tube I'm going to click my my um, main tube first and I'm going to click this rod by holding shift on the keyboard and clicking it down here so make sure you have your main tube selected first hold shift and then hit boolean difference so I have a hole now Hit accept. And now I have this. And this is cool, but we need to combine everything. All right, so these are all separate objects. Sitting out in space. So they're all clickable, different pieces like this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my port to my tube by shift clicking both of them and hitting boolean union and hit accept and then i'm just going to combine this tube with the surgical guide by clicking that and that uh both at the same time and hit combine so there we go let's take a look at it all together one file now we have our port coming in our guide one sealed end off, one is active. Everything is continuous tube right down into the lumen. So on the day of surgery, you just snap in your irrigation that normally goes on your handpiece right to here. And then you go ahead and do all your osteotomy here um, and have it automatically just be funneling out and dumping out right here below the sleeve um, as you're doing your surgery. So I hope this helps. There's a number of different ways to do this. Um, this happens to be the way that I, I do them and it seems to be very predictable for me um, to creating these tubes like this. And they seem to always be watertight and they print nice. The tubes are thick, they don't break. Um, everything's nice. So let me know how it goes. And if you could get your time down to three minutes, I mean, Yes, there's easier ways. You could just basically punch a hole and bond in a metal port or whatever, but this is kind of easy to me, um, and I hope it becomes easy to you. Thank you.